welcome back to our SQL tutorials for beginner session we are on the next chapter of SQL before that if you haven't watched our previous videos and if you want to watch them please check out our video links in the description below also please subscribe our channel as it takes a lot of efforts and time to create these videos so please subscribe our channel and appreciate our efforts so without wasting time let's start so what we are going to learn from this video we will learn insert update and delete we are going to learn all these three st statements with the hands-on practice so let's start insert statement insert statement adds rows of data into a table it can add a single row or a multiple rows at a time. The basic syntax of this SQL statement is insert into table name column names in the bracket. Those are purely optional values, a keyword and the column values which you are going to insert separated by comma in the bracket. This is the first syntax. Second syntax is insert into table name where you are not going to mention the name of the columns. Then values in the bracket values which you want to insert into the table columns. So what is different between first and second statement is that in a first statement you are mentioning the column names whereas in second statement you are not mentioning the column names. In the second statement you have to insert the values as those are in the uh, in the sequence of the table column so if you have a column a column b and column c in the sequence in a table you have to mention the same sequence of the values while you are providing the values in the second statement so let's see this with example so first of all let me show you the table which we are going to use which uh, where we are going to insert the values we are going to use dpt table if you know that we have created this dpt table uh, in our uh, first session itself so let's run it we have dpt number d name and loc this is the sequence of the columns in this table now let's insert a data into this table by listing the column names now just check this particular statement where I have written insert into DPT, DPT NO, LOC and D name. So the sequence I altered. First I am mentioning LOC and then which is location and then D name. And same thing with the their respective values. So let's run this statement. So as soon as we run it that value should be inserted into the table let's run select star from the dpt table so we got that second row though we have altered the location of the columns as we mentioned the column names in the in the first statement itself uh, first row itself it has inserted the values into the correct columns so this is the first example where we are mentioning the column names now let's take the second example where we are not going to mention the column names. It will be a go by default. Now remember in this case insert into DPT values. These values should be in the same sequence as the columns into the table. So for example DPT NO is the first you have to mention number the DPT number itself. You cannot I'll interchange the column sorry values um, location over here this place should be fixed as per the table and that's the difference between the first and the second statement let's run this second statement where we are going to insert the third value in this table let's execute it and now let's see select star from dpt here you go the third is also inserted 30 marketing and Mumbai now I'm going to just do one small change in this one and just wanted to show you that what we can do if uh, if we just interchange the values for example we are 
not giving the column names and we are mentioning we are just interchanging the first and second column values okay so let's say 200 let's see what happens in this case we got an error the reason is first and second is actually a var care and a number so it actually captured the values it found that we are trying to insert a, a var care into the number and a number into the var care that's why it's easy for us if we have interchanged this third second and third row it could have inserted the data because second and third row have the same data types so make sure you are mentioning the column names correctly and the values their respective values correctly while you are inserting the data into the table so that's it now let's move on what if you want to insert the multiple values in one single statement that's what we're going to see in the next slide inserting multiple values in this case the syntax is insert into table name again the columns are optional if you want to give values the first first row you want to insert then comma second second row values comma third row values so on up to all the column values this is how you can insert multiple values multiple rows into a table using one single statement let's see this with example here we are we are going to insert the multiple rows using one single statement in this i'm not going to mention the column names that means you know that i have to make sure that the values of the columns i'm going to mention those should be in the same sequence those should be in the same series as the as the columns are there into the table first should be d name and then uh, the department and the location so i'm going to insert these four records now let's insert here you go we got successful message let's see let's query that table and see if our records are reflecting there so we inserted from 40 to 70 so we have it 40 operations hr it and strategy so we got our records inserted in one statement while we are using only one statement but inserting multiple rows into that particular table but let, let's think a real scenario where you want to insert a data from one table to the another table and that is possible using the insert statement let's see that in the next slide inserting data from another table so the syntax is insert into target table list the columns into the bracket and select query on source table and here to list the columns into the select clause let's see this with example okay so to understand this one let's create a new table using create table statement and the like operator if you don't know this statement please refer our previous videos where we have learned how to create the tables so create table new table name like the existing table this will just copy the table structure but not the data so let's execute this statement and let's run the select star on dpt new table so if you see we got the table created same as our dpt table but no data inserted into it now let's take the same table dpt and let's try to insert some data from dpt to dpt new let's let's do one thing let's insert some specific rows like location equals to pune one and two there are two records which shows location as pune and we will insert those records only into our new table so uh, let's see this insert into dpt new which is our new table same as our dpt table select dpt number comma deep deep uh, d name and loc from dpt where 
location equals to Pune and let's insert let's run this and you can see that it's successful now let's run this select star from dpt new we should have two records inserted into that table you see 60 and 20 so this is how it is inserting a data from one table to the new table using this insert into statement with select clause next what if you want to update the existing column values into the table and for that update will help us next statement update statement update statement changes the data in a particular column of existing records the basic syntax is the update keyword and followed by set clause so update table name set column equals to particular value you want to set up generally we use where clause to restrict and target the specific column values only otherwise above statement will update all the records into the table we will see this with the example but the syntax is update table name set column equals to a value where you want to identify that particular value you want to change column 2 equals to something then only change the column 1 equals to value let's see this with example so for this update let's use the recent table we have created dpt new so i just queried the table select star from dpt new order by dpt number so let's try to update the record with hr department name location to nyc instead of delhi here the fifth record you can see so we are changing the location to nyc where the department number is equals to 50 and this is our update statement with where clause let's run it now let's see let's again run this sql where hr is changed to nyc earlier it was daily so we changed it now we have seen this update statement with where clause where we targeted a specific value by restricting it with the where clause what if i am not restricting it with the where clause let's run it without the where clause update dpt new set loc is equals to nyc and let's run it execute let's see what happens here let's try to execute the select star from dpt new if we execute it see what happened all the records are now updated with nyc value and this is the problem if you do not restrict your record with the where clause or any other conditions you have to use the specific you have to target a specific value while you are updating the records and this is the reason we saw the second syntax with the where clause which we have to use so make sure you are updating the correct records using the where clause next is delete statement with most databases you will eventually need to delete the rows then delete statement will help you to delete the record or the records once the rows are deleted and committed the action you can not get back the records except from backups which is tedious process so make sure you are targeting the right records while you are deleting them and the syntax is delete from table name and the where condition where condition here again is optional okay let's see this with example to demonstrate this let's use our dpt new table so we have these are the records present in our dpt new table let's delete this hr department name row so for that 
delete from dpt new where d name is equals to hr so let's execute this it's executed successfully now let's run it again this is gone so we successfully deleted the that particular record let's say if we delete the state we execute the delete statement without where clause let's see what happens in that case so delete from dpt new i'm just selecting that where uh, without where clause and let's execute it it's executed now let's see and run this star select star statement the table is completely empty because we ran delete from dpt new it has deleted everything because we didn't read, uh, write any where condition in that and that's why it is it has deleted everything from the table from this particular tutorial friends we learn insert update and delete we will continue our sql for beginners session in our next video if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe and support us until then keep learning sql